Jones speaking. Well, good afternoon, Doctor. This is uh, security here. I believe there are some documents to be picked up at your lab this afternoon. Yes, that's correct. Now, I haven't quite finished the typing yet. I'm just uh, doing the last page at the present moment, so if you could leave it for a bit later in the evening, perhaps, uh, that's not inconvenient. Oh, not at all, Doctor. Not at all. Uh, we'll have our chap call around there. What time would you suggest? Oh, about, uh, about seven o'clock. Fine, Doctor. Thank you very much. Goodbye. My name is Jones. Dr. Jones. I'm a research scientist and the work of my laboratory over the last several years has been an attempt to communicate with other beings in space. To this end, we have constructed considerable hardware and spent many hours transmitting signals and listening for replies. We have had negative results. The report on our right will sign the death knell to all those years of work. We must conclude that there are no beings of an intelligent kind in space with whom we can communicate by means of radio. And so, my report, which the courier will fetch around seven to nine, will close the book on the research work we have done over these last years.
James here from uh, the laboratory, uh, uh, Jim. I think that's you. Um, look, something rather funny has happened. Um, I just finished writing a report and left it lying in the desk. Went off and uh, played the organ for a while. When I came back, the, uh, the report is missing. And in place of it is a cassette, an ordinary cassette, and uh, a strange looking grey box, which I, I just don't recognise. So uh, I was wondering if you come over and have a bit of a look uh, and see what you think. Yes, all right, Doctor. Yes, I'll pop over. Just leave things the way they are, and I'll pop over in a few minutes. Oh, fine, Jim. Thanks very much. I'll uh, look forward to it. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye. We come around at such short notice, but this is rather an interesting sort of an exercise. So uh, let's go on inside and I'll give you the details and at least tell you as much as I know about the whole business, but uh, quite peculiar, quite peculiar. And uh, anyway, I'll uh, tell you in as we're inside here. And uh, by all crimes, I'll tell you what, it's a, a very interesting thing. Now, I've got this uh, bits and pieces here, but anyway, have a look and then I'll fill you in the details. Well, clearly that's the type. Well, the other I don't wish to be to see it. Unusually hot in here. There's a funny smell too. Yeah, it smells like ozone. Let's find the type. Right on. Okay. Let's do that. Looks like an ordinary sort of a type to me, so I guess uh, we'll just drop it in and see what happens. Oh, Joe, that's a very strange business, Jim. Very strange in the right now. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a bit nervous, Jim, to put the tape in upside down. This is rather exciting in a way, isn't it? But, uh, anyway. That's a computer tape. That's a computer tape. That's a computer tape. And I'll fix this as the decoder. That's what I've done. This will be the decoder. I'll pick up the computer tape. Right, now. Let's see. We'll hook this thing up. Oh, I can't. I'll tell you what, they, 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 uh, they seem to something with, with, with uh, the right sort of connectors on it anyway. All right, that looks like the on-off switch, I think. Okay, well, let's give it a burl and see what comes out of that. My name, in your language, is Kasala. I come from another world in our galaxy, almost one light year away. Let me assure you, we mean you no harm and trust you will accept us as friends. Congratulations on decoding the recording. I apologise for borrowing the report there in my possession. We will return it to you when we have translated it into our language. The purpose of my visit is to attempt to establish continued communications between us. We have been aware for some years that this has been the work of your laboratory. As we have intercepted some of your experimental transmissions on board our ship. The computing device you now have was developed to enable us to translate your transmissions. Please retain it for future use. 
We will contact you again when we have read your report and understand better the level of your technology. We will send another recording which will describe how we may speak with each other and what wavelengths we must use. Goodbye for now. Well, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Thanks for your thing. Put me in mind of something. Put me in mind of something. Now, yeah, let me see. Look, I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Right. Well, I know what Jim's got in mind, but... I don't think I'm going to, uh, to, to, to wait for another tape from Kefala. I think I'll try an experiment. I can't be too far away. Now, let's set up the gear. And we'll try one of the frequencies we normally use. Let's see what comes out of that. Yeah, well, that answers a few questions, Jim. Certainly does. Anyway, I'm just going to try this experiment. I'm just thinking while you're out. I'll set the gear up on the frequency we normally use, and we'll just see if there's any signal there. Let's have a look around and see. Get the computer fired up. And, um, <coughs> hello. Well, there is something there. It's locked on. Okay, well, let's just see what comes out of this then. 1296.1, right. Now, that's the frequency we use a fair bit. That's a fairly likely one, too. All right, well. Computer's loading up the directional program now. So we'll try and get some readout. Get some readout of direction. Okay. Well, this should be pretty interesting. Get the, this antenna ported in the right direction. Right. Azimuth is 103 degrees. Right. We'll bring the dish around onto that. Slowly does it. Round onto the bearing. Now, what's the elevation? Okay, elevation is 27 degrees. So we'll come up to 27 degrees. Range 30,000 kilometres. Jim, that's a stationary satellite at that range. Right. Aerial's coming on to bearing now, I think. Earthmen, Earthmen, this is Kasala. If you hear my signal, be ready to transmit. If you hear my signal, be ready to transmit. Earthmen, Earthmen, this is Kasala. Earthmen, this is Kasala. If you hear my signal, be ready to transmit. Transmit now. Transmit now. Kasala, Kasala, this is Earth. Kasala, Kasala, this is Earth. We read your signals. We read your signals. We are using the computer. We read your signals. Do you read our
Left Flint. This is Kasala. Our craft is approaching your location now. You will have to walk to our landing spot. You will have to walk to our landing spot. We will await your arrival in our spacecraft.